Kimberly Brooks. I think I've heard that name before. Oh, I'm thinking of. Oh, I was about to think about Ki uh, Kira Buckland. Ah, uh, Kira. <laughs> I remember her back in Brawl Taunts. Hmm. Mission 444. Four, four, four. Four. Okay. <laughs> J Japan in the background screaming internally. Yeah. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Welcome to pretty hell. much. <laughs> hey, poor, poor guys hate number four. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I forgot what her name was. It was on Joey's uh, Yeah, I saw Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Dominion Cobalt. Um, I I like the aspects of it. Not bad, huh? Well, essentially, it's one of those when you don't think about it, it's fine. But when you really think about it, it's terrible. It's like, okay... I am trying to hold my tongue here because I never bothered with any of the Jurassic World movies. The first Jurassic Park movie was fine. Uh, the Lost World, eh, it was whatever. Jurassic Park 3 was skippable garbage. But Jurassic yeah. World, when I saw the trailer and the plot to it, I was just going to be too pissed off to see it. So I skipped it. I feel like the whole thing with the Jurassic... I'm just going to call them the Jurassic movies is that... You is like they're in the unfortunate position of having what I like to call a cyclical plot, because it's like if you've seen one Jurassic Park movie, you've seen them all. Technically, it's the same thing: greedy people, dinosaurs, chaos ensues, grab popcorn, and it's like yeah, there's only it's so like, it's like there's only so many times you can listen to the same story before you have to stand up and say, "Haven't we done this before?" Like how many yeah, rich they, assholes they... are out? Is like how many rich assholes are out there who still think they can profit from dinosaurs at this point? Oh, like, you think they were done with that? <laughs> no, they tried to I was... like. Oh, no, like if anything, just the very ideal plot of Jurassic World. It's not so much of it being a rehash. I just feel like it spits on the original message, like massively. Yeah. Because they mm. not only because the message of the first movie. You don't play God. What do they do in Jurassic World? They rebuilt the park several times more, and then they genetically enhance a fucking dinosaur. How stupid are you to repeat the same mistake on a grander scale? They didn't. In like, the the whole thing there is that they wanted to draw people in on the appeal of, ooh, it's science-y and genetics and blah, blah, blah. The first movie like, already did that. Yeah, it's like, that... Again, the big problem is it's the same story. It doesn't matter what garnish you put on it. It's still the same meal I've had 99 other times. I'm not going to magically enjoy it again on the 100th. Like, it's not even, it's not even like, it's not even like trying to reinvent the wheel and refresh it and everything. It's just, it's just redoing the same thing and inadvertently making it more insulting. Hmm. Sorry, that that's the for thing me, that was bothering no. me about Jurassic World no, for so fine, long. No, I I get it. Like for me, it's one of those series that I don't know. Nostalgia goggles for the original has always made me want to watch them and see just if how much I can just turn my brain off and enjoy the the dinosaurs on screen. And I can say this: at least in the new one, they actually used animatronics, and I could tell they were animatronics. Oh. <laughs> Practical effects. Yeah. Not all the time, Finally. but yeah, a good amount of time. Uh, you yeah. know, with you guys mentioning this, it kind of reminds me a bit of what Final Destination did and how I felt with it. Because I don't need, I don't really like the concept of Final Destination in the first place cuz it's literally just like, hey, if you, is like, you know, like you're fated yeah. to die the world's gonna find a way to do it to you and i'm just like well no because you see if he was fated to die we wouldn't be watching this fucking movie because he'd be dead <laughs> like you can't it's like you can't establish a premise only to immediately throw the premise out the window because like that's my problem whenever people talk about fate and destiny and blah 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 you the plot line a plot line that involves fate fails at its core message the moment fate is circumvented. If the story's premise is, oh, like, this is how you were always going to die, but you didn't, then I'm just like, then it wasn't how I was always going to die, was it? Bad premise. 
here's basically the problem. The first Final Destination movie actually had an alternative ending where as stupid as it is, it's revealed it's revealed midway through the movie that the two characters actually end up um, getting together and the main character Alex dies at the end. Whereas later on it's revealed that his girlfriend um, Claire is later on pregnant and that's what prevents her prevents um, her from dying because essentially she cre she and him created life. Therefore, oh god. Okay. That would have been bad. Ye. Death I... came after her. However, the people who watched that ending went, I don't like it. Ah! Let's make, can you guys add more um, deaths in that movie? Which eventually led to the reoccurring plot line of, hey, every single movie has to be a character avoids death. And now death is coming after them in a very creative way and trying to kill them. But that's another big problem for me with Final Destination. Because it's just like, the way these people die is really stupid over the top and i get the whole point is that death is very much trying to kill you but the problem is again the whole fate is like the whole fate thing it happens naturally nothing is like if i sidestep one thing and then another thing conveniently which wouldn't have happened otherwise tries to get me and i avoid that and then it just keeps sequentially worse and worse until and I think I'm remembering this properly. I'm hanging from a now crumbling bridge that has definitely killed other people now just to get one oh, fucking fine. guy. Yeah. And then a fucking, uh, like, a boiling oil thing or whatever bursts in Tar. my face. I'm officially mm. calling bullshit. Yeah, like, here's basically <laughs> the problem I have with Final Destination. The first three movies, I, I was perfectly fine with. Mainly because I liked the way that the characters were at least established, and they were trying to do some sort of different lore with the film. The fourth one, on the other hand, kind of went down the toilet when they just decided to abandon the practical effects and go for terrible CGI. Like, for example, there's a character gets thrown through, um, gets thrown at a fence, at a chain link fence. Somehow, his back ends up turning into Jello, and he dies from that impact. Also, okay. escalator death. Some girl ends up getting her leg crushed by an escalator. Somehow, her leg turns to jello. But That's... the point is, the movie was poorly executed, and it was just very bad. Whereas with the you'd part... have to you'd have to fuck up to an astronomical degree for an escalator to kill you. <laughs> with the fifth one, here's the thing that kind of really bugs me about the fifth one. The fifth one actually tried to do something unique, where they tried to pull the whole if you kill somebody. You get their, you get a bit of their, um, I guess their years of life, so you don't die. However, that's and, fucking dumb. Really oh, oh, no, dumb. It, it, it gets worse. You want to know what's the most insulting part about Final Destination Five? What? It's a fucking prequel. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Yeah. Fuck At off the right very now. end of the movie, the two characters, Sam and Molly, get on a plane. And then the guy turns around and says, hey, why is that guy getting kicked out the plane? And it shows the main character from Final Destination 1 getting off the plane after he had his horrible vision. And the movie essentially ends with the two characters getting blown up on the airplane that Alex and his friends were supposed to die in the first movie. And then another character gets crushed by a, um, a jet gear because it turns out that a character that did die ended up dying of a heart attack, <clears throat> not by, in by another random freak accident. That's... <laughs> Look, I've already explained my problems with the whole point of Final Destination as far as I'm concerned. It's literally just a dumb excuse to show people what dying looks like. It's like with me, the first And it's just like, look, I get it. Your dad didn't hug you enough. Now stop <laughs> showing me a person get boiled alive like a fucking lobster. It's like with the first one, I could turn off my brain and say, okay, this is a, an interesting horror movie. I can go with it. And not to mention, they didn't have death be over the top because the, the deaths actually felt a little bit more interesting. But then with the full, but then with the second and third movie after that, they kind of just went, okay, we're going to go a little bit over the top, but we're going to add some actual character development. Then the last two movies kind of went, uh, middle finger to the face, you can't ever change destiny. Which is just like, what's the point of me rooting for these characters if you're just going to continue repeating the same shit over and over again? 
And again, why. the big problem with that is that if I can't change fate, why didn't I die the first uh, time? Oh, no, 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 no. Which is why it kind of oh, reminds me of Jurassic, why it kind of reminds me a bit of the Jurassic movie. It's like these characters have already seen you can't fuck with genetics, you can't play God, and they still do it. Hmm. There's like, fucking, again, like, my whole thing, my like... I liked Jurassic World. I, I'm not gonna lie. I liked Jurassic World. But the minute that they ended up revealing, the minute they revealed the um, the Indominus Rex, I was like, okay, a little bit of a new genetic uh, T uh, Rex, nothing too bad. But the minute that they started to show the raptors, I went, oh god, please don't tell me they ended up genetically altering it with raptors. To which the movie revealed, oh wait, they did exactly that. And all I did after that was just face palm and go. Why the fuck are you so stupid? Mm. Like, why the fuck would you do that? That's literally like saying, hey, you know what we should do for... You're going to genetically enhance spiders. But you know what we should do? Make them grow in size. No. Yeah. That would make them dangerous. God, it's bad enough that Australia already has big-ass spiders. Don't remind me, dude. Like hey, the maybe the next Jura spiders. But no, maybe no. the next Jurassic World should have them genetically altering fucking dinosaurs with spider parts. God no! 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 It's bad enough that I don't let that movie traumatize me. I don't want it even worse. No, thank you. No! 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 Just the guys, just, they no. need to make another movie. No! Screw no, that! No, 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 no. It, it's sort of like with. We're going to be in another movie. We're going to see the dinosaurs. I mean, it's sort of like with me and. I know Robin's going to be probably a little bit irked by this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's like with me and Fast and the Furious. Oh, dear. What? I, I liked the first three movie, like the first four movies, because there was something fun about them. It was just literally racing a little bit of police work on the side. Although, technically, the third one was more of just literal racing with some Fast and Furious characters. Then it later on just became Vin Diesel rambles about family, and then they go on. <laughs> <laughs> they went to space in the last one! Family. They went to because family. family. I, just, I just noticed something. Yeah? All these movies that we have a problem with are movies with cyclical plots that never really change. Essentially. And it's like, I get it. I know Vin Diesel really likes making the movies, but how much longer are you going to make them this ridiculous? Isn't the next one going into space? I think so. I mean, Didn't they already have uh, going into space? I think technically they all they went into space in the last movie, or was it I think Shaw and um Ooh. Shaw and Hank or whatever it was? Because there's a spin-off now of Fast and Furious. Oh, oh, for oh Hobbs like, and Shaw. I'm, I'm, yeah. Like, freaking, like, what's next? Fast and Furious, they take the cars into Challenger Deep, and somehow they have special cars that, you know, don't break down under, like, subnautical pressure or something. <laughs> like, it's like, or, like, Mariana's Trench, and they find the weird jellyfish cucumbers. It's like, I thought the movies would have ended after Paul Walker's passing. It's like, okay. Are right they going to drop the cars into a fucking volcano? <laughs> and they're going to drive themselves <laughs> through the fucking rocket tunnels? <laughs> you know they're fucking gonna. They weren't even the same. They can only go down now. It's like... <laughs> fucking, they're going to... No, you know what's going to happen? They're, they're going to take the cars to heaven. Like, actually... And they'll race through all... heaven and they'll race through hell. This is like fucking. This is yeah, like they go, it's like they go to heaven. They find an angel who really likes cars, and then they go to hell to save one of their friends. I'm calling it next Fast and Furious. <laughs> Jesus. What do you think? Christ. What do you think a biblically accurate car looks like? No. Oh, oh God. Oh. It would all be all Christian and. Oh my God, dude. I am. Mm, no. I I I try not to sound insulting when I talk about all those overplayed Christian tones and shit from like <laughs> fucking Bible man and shit. Bible man. Oh god, what go. car would what car would Satan drive? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, oh, that car that Hitler don't had? say that. No, I don't think I don't think Hitler had a had a uh, Mustang. Can we see no, I said, petrol? What was, can what we was see the petrol car that Hitler Jesus? had? 
<laughs> petrol head Jesus? <laughs> Fucking Shaw and Hobbs or whatever the fuck just team up with, like, petrol head Jesus. And they drive cars <laughs> through hell to save one of their friends. Oh, God almighty! Oh, no, I'm sorry. One of their family. Yeah, no, for God's family. sake, stop! <laughs> I, 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 God, the movie's feel more like it's just Vin Diesel's paycheck at this point. Yes, apparently. And also, he has fun. he has potential to be a good actor and everything. Like he's had some really good roles. Like one of his earlier roles was one of the soldiers in Saving Private Ryan. Oh shit! Yeah. Really? Yeah, he was um, he was one of the first soldiers killed. Barry Pepper was in there, and he was a really good sniper. Have you uh -huh. actually seen Saving Private Ryan? Yes, I but have. I don't remember very much about it. I remember I there's a scene say... where they overdose a guy on morphine so, so he can die painlessly. And that was really, um, I don't know, that, that moment stuck with me. The moments that I always look there. back on is the recreation of D-Day. Like, they did an excellent job recreating that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the oh, no, there is one more scene I remember from Saving Private Ryan. It's see. when it's like it's when one of the good guys runs into one of the bad guys and neither of them have ammo, so they throw their fucking helmets at each other. <laughs> Eat shit. Like, also, like, um... like, could you like how pissed would you have? Is like how pissed would you? How pissed would your opponent have to be to throw their helmet at you? And subsequently, how pissed would you have to be to throw yours back instead of just fucking shooting them? Like, imagine having yes. a fucking just, like, imagine just having an emotionally charged brawl in the middle of a war zone, as if nothing else is happening. <laughs> Ryza just sent me something. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's a gift that may or may not be a bunch of... Vin Diesel cosplayers <laughs> saying family over and over again. God damn it. Oh God. <laughs> just the amount Literally just saying like just family. Just the amount of them saying family. 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 Drives you nuts, doesn't it? They're all, they're all wearing it exactly does. the same thing. It drives just you nuts the, when you hear I can count family. like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I can count nine people. There's probably more, but I can count nine people and it's like family. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the background Stop. Stop. Funny enough, if you guys go to Vin Diesel's Facebook page and look at his old pictures, like, like through his old pro, like through his old posts, you'll find some weird, weird moments. Like he'll just randomly post pictures of like, let's say there's like a black and white shot of a forest. His face will be at the very bottom, kind of like if he's thinking. Oh, yeah. I get you. Oh, oh God, I am way too high. Ooh, oh, oh God, okay. I'm gonna join your brother. Oh, Family. <laughs> you know, if the if these Vin Diesel clones keep multiplying, we might need fit fit Kieran to shield us from them. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is. Yep, one... it's callback time. <laughs> there is Why one... me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody. Let I need to check my orb menu. God. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um. There is one movie that I think Vin Diesel did that's really good, and it's kind of a shame not a lot of people talk about oh, it. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Pitch Black. That was a good movie. Oh, yeah. I don't Riddick think I've seen ones, that one. Yeah. It's, okay, it's, it's a very interesting science fiction, like, anti-hero type of film. Like, because, uh -huh. like, there's, like, they're on a strange planet, and that basically this was the movie that inspired the Krill for uh, Gears of War. Like, they ah. have these, like, deadly alien bats that, like, kill you upon contact. Oh, yeah, those. Yeah. I fucking Oof. hate those. Yeah, like, I know. Lot. No, you know, okay, Ugh. in Gears of War, you know what I really hated? The fucking berserkers in the first game because you have to be so meticulous. 